Okay. Now this is going up a notch. We're going up a notch, 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 quite a notch from adult to a little bit more. Um, this is, there, there's, there's a little problem, little conundrum. I've said this a little while back. Now Goodreads <laughs> have got Double Time showing us book three and Hot Ticket showing us book three. And have got Snared showing as book five or book four. <laughs> and it's meant to be five. Setting it all straight, Backstage Pass is number one. Rock Hard is number two. A little bit of a little kerfuffle, Double Time came out as number three when it's actually number four. This one, it has just come out and it's actually number three, Hot Ticket. So just swap Double Time and Hot Ticket around and you won't get anything. You won't be reading Hot Ticket after Double Time and going, shouldn't I already know something here? I already know something, but yes. And Snared number five. We should be back on track when we get the Snared. All you do is, it's only for those that have read it on Nick Alley early, have got it back to front because it was released that way. Um, this is a real eye opener. <laughs> it's, it makes you wonder like bands like Bon Jovi, any bands really, what's going on behind the scenes. Um, this way. And I really loved Double Time. Again, <laughs> great big eye opener for a little old me. But written really well. Olivia Cunning writes really well. And she's, she's written a lot of books. Um, so she knows what she's doing when it comes to writing the extra, you know, down that next level. And this is Source Books. And Source Books sent this to me, which was unbelievable. Um, so, again, I've, technically speaking, I, I haven't read book one or two. Because I'm actually on... Uh, Amazon, the digital are quite expensive now, so it's probably best just to buy the books if you want to read, you know, when you go that extra level above sort of adult. But Lil Me has read them and, oh, your eyes will bog all if you're not used to reading this sort of thing, but I really enjoyed them. So it's Sinners on Tour, and this one uh, will be being published February 2013, and I do recommend them if you're of the adult level and yes now book three pile here we go I've got all my notes okay now I just spoke about um, like grave memory like the Alex Craft series the Patricia Briggs series Mercedes Thompson um, Alona Andrews Kate Daniels series with magic strikes etc don't have them here because I read them all from the library. Um, it's Ali Bickstrom, highly recommend it. I've done all the reviews by Devon Monk, who's also written two books in the Age of Steam series, which is Dead Iron and Tin Swift. Magic to the Bone, Magic in the Blood, Magic in the Shadows, Magic on the Storm, Magic at the Gate, Magic on the Hunt, Magic on the Line, Magic without Mercy, now, I've, I've requested, and it only came out on the 6th of November, but I've requested from my library, Magic for a Price, which is the last book, number nine in this series. Ali Beckstrom, I absolutely love her. Each book gets better and better and better. I'd love a Seamus spin-off. I really would. Seamus and Terrick. Because, um, as you can see, there's two guy names there. <laughs> and it's a bit like, you know, um, how... Yeah, yeah. So, I I would love a Seamus. A Seamus, he came into the books a little bit in, and he's just oh, I love Seamus. He's just got snark. He's just gorgeous. He's he's yeah. He's a bit gothic. He's a lovely boy. All right. Now on my pile here, lovely penguin sent through. Beautiful redemption. Which is book three in the beautiful uh, in the Caster Chronicles by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Number one I've read, but I read it ages ago. Beautiful creatures. Number two, not read. Beautiful darkness. They're quite big. I, I love the um, the embossing as well. It's beautiful. 
and they're quite thick as you can see that's number one and obviously with beautiful creatures the the movie coming out just from what i've seen of the movie they've just done a brilliant um, adaptation or whatever you want to call it now 2.5 is dream dark that's a novella it's got the red cover and beautiful chaos which is number three i do not have that here but as you can see if you bunged in <laughs> number number three plus the novella there's a whole lot of reading there but what i understood and don't quote me and and going way back when i read this way way back um the, they start off at 16 but i think each book they're meant to eventually get to the age of 21 so i think it gets a bit more you know and um it's obviously still YA and it's Penguin Razor Bill. But the Caster Chronicles have a, a well, they did, I haven't checked again, but they had a brilliant site um, on the web. Very colourful and wah wah magic. Alright, now I know I've shown these again before, and again, I haven't started them, hence why they look so lovely. Again, thank you so much to Vice Casters, Pan Macmillan, isn't it? Ooh, ooh. I don't want to get it wrong. No, hatchet, hatchet. Oh my gosh, I got that wrong, didn't I? Mm, I got that wrong on something else. Dark Angel, number one, Darkness Unbound. Kerry Arthur, Australian author, Darkness Devours, number two. Charla Charlene Harris, who's um, True Blood, she's put blurbs on the front. So, And Kerry's written a lot of books. Her, 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 her Riley Jensen series is a long series. I haven't started that. She's written Nikki and Michael. I started off Nikki and Michael, but her, her writing's really improved. Um, and Nikki and Michael was like 2004, something like that. Darkness Rising is number three. Now, this one arrived this week, Darkness Hunt. So I'm just so excited that I've got some binging there. And um, Darkness Unmasked comes out June 4, 2013. And, and Darkness Hunts just got released on the 6th of November. So it looks like I won't be starting with Riley Jensen series. I'll be starting with this one. And Riley Jensen is um, an incredibly popular one of hers as well. Now, again, Penguin, I got this a couple of weeks ago. Um, reached his book three in the Matched Dystopian series. Now, Ali Condi, again, Penguin, Razor Bill. Um, this one was released tomorrow, the 13th of November. So, Matched is number one, across is number two, and Reached is number three. Um, again, I think I showed this the other day. Um, this, I, lo I love the feel of the cover and, and this whole egg kind of breaking out thing. Um, yeah, it, it, people are up and down with match. So again, I have said it, I need to have a good read. Now, very quickly, oh, now book four, pile number four. Yes, four. This little hardback, but not often I get a hardback, arrived. It's called Ketchup Clouds. How cute is that? Annabelle Pitcher. Pitcher. Indigo. Indigo. Indigo is hatchet. Mm. Oh, gets hard remembering. It's not pan, it's hatchet. Rhyme books, hatchet, right. I'm going to read you the little um, little blurb. I've done something wrong. Not a little bit wrong, or even quite a lot wrong. What I've done is awful. And do you want to know the worst thing I've got away with it? Zoe Collins has a secret, a dark and terrible secret that she dares confess to no one that she knows. But then one day she hears of a criminal on death row who knows all about secrets and lies and betrayal. Desperate to confide in someone, Zoe picks up a pen and takes a deep breath. These are the letters that she wrote. So it's, look, whoops, oh, I just bent a page. Oh, listen to that. There's a little bunny. Yeah, it's yeah, interesting. I think this is going to be a very interesting read. Um, she's written a flat, don't have found written yellow. It's, and little, her letters end with like, love from Zoe, X. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a very interesting book. I'm rather intrigued by it. It's only like a small book. But yeah, and the, and the title ketchup clouds yeah very interesting 
Yeah. The lovely, 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 lovely Selena Harlequin team. Now, I got sent it up today. Touch of Power. This is the um, Advance Readers, so no cover. This is the one I've bent before. Not happy. Um, Maria B. Snyder, brilliant writer. She's written um, Glass Series. Storm, glass, Storm Series, Glass Series. Study. And I've got Study here to read. And this one, which oh my God, I've had a memory blank, the healer, the healer. Love this all, all the characters, really good. Well, scent of magic is coming out in January, so I can't do my review before January. Um, so I'm really looking forward to giving this one a read too. Um, yeah, it's really, really, really good. Why I loved it. Pure. I'm nearly finished everyone just use the fast forward <laughs> Juliana Baggett pure now I've got my blurb section here fuse number two comes out on the 19th of February 2013 and burn is number three which comes out sometime I'll read you again the blurb but I've got off for good reads for this one we know you are here, our brothers and sisters. Pressia barely remembers the de detonations or much about life during the before. In her sleeping cabinet behind the rubble of an old barber shop where she lives with her grandfather, she thinks about what is lost, how the world went from amusement parks, movie theatres, birthday parties, fathers and mothers to ash and dust, scars, permanent burns and fused, damaged bodies. And now, at an age when every Everyone is required to turn themselves over to the militia to either be trained as a soldier or if they are too damaged and weak to be used as live targets. Oh. Hmm. Pre Pre Pressier can no longer pretend to be small. Pressier is on the run. Oh. Gabba, she might have been a live target. Burn a, a, burn a pure and breathe the ash. These are Though. There are those who escape the apocalypse unmarked pures. They are tucked safely inside the dome that protects their healthy superior bodies. Yet Partridge, whose father is one of the most influential men in the dome, feels isolated and lonely. Different. He thinks about loss, maybe, just because his family is broken. His father is emotionally distant. His brother killed himself and his mother never made it inside their shelter. Golly gosh. Or maybe it's his claustrophobia. Oh dear, he's still going. He's feeling... That this dome has become a swaddling of intensely rigid order. So when a slipped phrase suggests his mother might still be alive, Partridge asks his life to leave the dome to find her, or risks his life <laughs> to leave the dome to find her. When Pressia meets Partridge, the world sh shatter all over again. So just yeah, I had this ages back on Net Galley, and we're talking some super big writing here. So that's pretty darn cool. Have a look at that. That is called some big writing. Again, a little hard back from um, the library. Now, above, above, gets the fair, fair rating on um, um, Goodreads. Now, I love this cover. It's a bit shiny, I know. Whoops. See the wings? Oh, you can actually feel those wings. They're embossed. All the little bits absolutely yummy this cover is what drew me on goodreads when i saw the cover just the line i went swing gotta have that um the library it looks standalone um and again i think we're talking dice are we talking dystopian or what we're talking here anyway i've got a little blurb here because i got it off goodreads again because of the back of the book i didn't think was Matthew Matthew has loved Ariel from, from the moment he found her in the tunnels, her bee wings falling away. They live in safe, an underground refuge for those fleeing the city above, like Whisper, who speaks to ghosts, and Jack Flash, who can shoot lightning from his fingers. But one terrifying night, an old enemy invades safe with an army of shadows, and only Matthew, Ariel, and a few friends escape above. As Matthew unravels the mystery of Safe's history in the shadows attack, he realises he must find a way to remake his home, not just for himself, but for Ariel, who needs him more than ever before. So, yeah, oh, just, I mean, just the cover, 
I thought was absolutely stunning with the and, and the beautiful wings it feels so I thought I'd give that a go now um, lovely Alan Nunn when are sending me a copy of this so I can return this so I won't be late I'm one of the last to read Beauty Queens I know but ever since I was um, uh, researching Libba Bray for my interview, which will come whenever because of um, all the storms in New York and apparently she's doing a lot of clean up, etc. So she's got other priorities, which is not a problem whatsoever. Um, the Diviners, who is her latest book, and I've shown it before, The Whopper. The Whopper. Um, I am over halfway but I had to stop for a while totally beyond brilliant this book love it to death well because I've been doing all this research on Libba this is now just I mean I have seen it at Big W and blah 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 I just love the lipsticks kind of the Rambo style swung across and um, the more I, I looked in all to all her little videos Libba's done for interviews etc etc she is such a funny I mean she, don't get me wrong this lady has had a lot to get through in her life and uh, but she has come through like oh wow um, and I've learned a lot and um, but the humor oh my goodness she has got she has got such a uh, she appears I've never met her obviously but through all her videos etc she's just got a, a personality that glows you know and um, through all the the negative stuff that happened to her the positive to come out the way she has and just this glowing personality and funny oh is she funny so um i'm going to be reading beauty queens again it's, she's a bit of a whopper of a book it's a satire so um a bunch of beauty queens on an airplane land on an island plane crashes all they got is their high heels and lipsticks and etc and um there are pirates apparently apparently a hunky captain pirate and also i think it turns into some guns and stuff so I think she's thrown everything at this um, and people on Facebook have popped up and said how much they loved it and also I've been um, through again all my, my, my research into Libra, Libra Bray um, I've, um, I'm going to pick up her Gemma Doyle three book series as well so there you go I learnt a lot of stuff and that's it I know oh no one more I'll go just fast forward if this is too long I'm sure it is Again, very quickly, Kiss of Death, book 8, Ghost Town, book 9, Fight Club, book 10, Last Breath, book 11, From the Library, number 12, Black Dawn, nearly finished it, got, oh, I actually don't want to finish it, I've got that much left. Um, oh, if you haven't started Morganville, why do it? You can binge to your heart's content, no waiting bit of blood's out um brilliant 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 love it oh god rachel she's having apart from having a lot of fun with her characters she's having a lot of oh, crazy times going on and lots of mm. but it's so well written for ya uh, not for ya sorry in ya it's so well written the morganville vampires yes, love it to death you could be away from it for a year and pick up a book and you're right back in there with everyone and that's what i did i read the first seven in a week and now I'm doing the same with these ones all my reviews are up I, I, I do tend to stay away from all the spoilers if I can um, but just oh, it's just such fun and I'll be sad when I think they're going up to at least book 15 so book 13 is out but just juggling all these characters and just she just keeps bringing it up to another level like what the villain that she's got going at the moment my god where is she pulling that from? And all the things that are going on. And Mernon is still Mernon. Mernon, oh, everyone's got to read a Mernon. He is hilarious. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop. I've got the lovely Caroline Hansen, who's, I thought she was published, but she's self-published. But she needs to be published. She is really good. Um, uh, Valerie Dearborn, again, adult um, series. Um, her third book is coming out on the 15th, so three days' time. Two days time because by the time I, I'm doing this one day before this video on Monday not Tuesday and um, I'm reading and you've got to read the little 2.5 apparently because it's got a few little things 
in it before you get to three, which I think is the final book. And she's done a Q and A uh, for me, which she had a ball answering, and she was very generous of her answers. So that's coming up shortly, and 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 about another three or four um, Q and As are coming up shortly. They're all going through the pipes at the moment. Uh, Libra Bray. It, it I had it down as the nineteenth. It may not be because she's got other things that uh, are higher more things to do in her life which is fair enough and and that's that's that <laughs> oh i get a bit foot in the mouth after a while all right i gotta go i'm too scared to even look how long this is and happy reading and um hope you i'm, I'm gonna yeah oh that'll do i won't say anything because yeah all right have a have a great week and um i'm feeling like i've had a few coffees <laughs> see ya I, um, I'm not taking the mickey. Um, this just came in from Penguin, the farm. I thought I'll quickly just show it. I'm on a roll. It's that long anyway. Um, Emily McKay. So thank you very much to Penguin. Yes, the, just the title, The Farm. Um, yeah. And this one, I just got in. Have a looky. What have we got here? Oh, ah, look at that final copy the lost prince this is my oh Ooh, uh. that was my original the lost prince which i have a review coming for and that's a finished copy so i thought i'd just quickly show those off um for harlequin teen all right that's it i'm going now many apologies have a lovely week